After you connect your email, you can start working with tickets in Zendesk, which will help you be more efficient by keeping track of all your customer interactions in one place. Every interaction or request you receive from a customer becomes a ticket in Zendesk. Each ticket can be assigned to an agent who will respond directly from Zendesk. Using tickets helps you stay organized because all conversations, updates, and actions taken to resolve a ticket are captured in one place. It's easy to assign tickets to the right agents, enabling faster responses and ensuring accountability. This helps you ensure that no customer requests slip through the cracks. The support home is your ticket hub, giving you an at-a-glance view of what's happening across your account. Click on the Views icon in the left-hand navigation. Views let you organize tickets based on different attributes such as unresolved tickets, unassigned tickets, recently updated, etc. You can create custom views based on your needs, like region or priority, for example. To show how the ticketing process works, I'll start by acting as a customer. Imagine I'm sending an email to a fictional company support team. After sending a support request, the customer will receive an automated response letting them know that you've received their request. You can customize this auto response to ensure it fits your brand tone and messaging. Now let's switch to the agent's perspective. After you receive a new ticket, you will see it in your agent dashboard here. You will also receive an email notifying you that you have a ticket. When you click on the ticket, you will see all the details the agent needs. Here's a quick breakdown. Requester is the person who submitted the ticket. Assignee is the person who is working on it. You can use this field to assign it to an agent on your team or click Take it to assign it to yourself. Followers. Internal users can choose to follow a ticket so they get notifications when there are updates. Tags help categorize tickets and can be used to automate ticket actions. Ticket fields collect key information when the ticket is created, minimizing the need for follow-ups. Agents should complete all fields to keep details available throughout the ticket's lifecycle. You can create custom fields and require end users to fill them out for help sender requests. In the middle is the conversation with your customer. This captures messages from any channel your customer reached out to you from. In this case, you see that this was an email message. Now, look at the right-hand column. Customer context shows key info about the customer. Knowledge button connects to your help center and suggests relevant articles based on the ticket content. This helps agents find relevant articles to use in their response. Next. Let's look at the bottom section of the interface, where responses are composed. Public reply sends a response to the customer when submitted. Internal note is only visible to your team. This is great to use when assigning the ticket to another person on the team, allowing you to provide additional context that will help the next agent. Additionally, when you have the customer's contact information, and depending on the channel the ticket came through, you'll be able to choose the appropriate reply channel like Facebook Messenger, Instagram Direct, or WhatsApp. In this example, since I have the user's phone number, I also have the option to call them directly. Finally, the CC option lets others view and collaborate on the ticket. Macros are one of the most powerful features in Zendesk. A macro is a pre-written response or set of actions that an agent can apply to tickets. In this example, I'll apply a custom macro that asks the customer for more information about their order and shipping address changes. It automatically inserts a response with the customer and agent's names, updates the ticket status to pending, adds a tag named shipping issue, and sets the topic to issue. Macros can be created by admins and used by agents. You'll also notice a menu next to the Submit As button. This lets you choose what happens after submission, such as closing the tab or staying on the ticket. When you submit a response, you can choose what status to set. New is the status for unopened tickets. Open means it is actively being worked on by an agent. In progress. This is usually used when you are awaiting input from a third party, such as a shipping provider. Pending should be used when you are awaiting a customer response. Solved means it is completed, but can be reopened if needed. Once you click Submit, your customer receives an email with your response and any relevant updates.
As you've seen, tickets are a powerful way to manage customer interactions efficiently. They ensure customers receive timely support, allow you to track and organize requests, and streamline your team's workflow so you can focus on what matters most, growing your business. I highly encourage you to test this in your own Zendesk account. Try sending an email to your Zendesk support email. You can find your Zendesk support email by navigating to the admin center, then clicking on email under channels. Be sure to send a test email from a different email address than the one associated with your Zendesk account so that the ticket will look like it is coming from a customer. This will give you a first-hand look at how the process works from both a customer's perspective and agent's perspective.